After reading all the messages on experiences with cough syrup, I decided to try it for myself. Last Friday, a friend and I went down to the local supermarket, read the ingredients on the back of the cough medicine boxes, did some simple dosage math, and settled on a 20-pack of Drixoral cough liquid caps. We took them at around 10 o'clock that night, and had a pretty good time. Here's a log of what happened. We were writing it as it happened while we could. 10.03 both. Took 300 milligrams, 10 capsules. Each of Drixoral cough liquid caps. Might have been a bit much for a first time try, but we were feeling daring, and we wanted it to be good, smiley face. 1047 both. Think we're starting to get a general, nice, feeling 1057 John. Colors seem to be getting brighter. Listening to Nirvana's Bleach album, music seems kind of, thin but it's pretty easy to get into. 1116 John. Colors really biting. 1122 John. Getting into it. Kurt doesn't seem to be having much fun yet. 1153 both. Went outside to have a smoke and walk around. 1207 both. Came back in, John. Things seem to really be setting in. I first noticed it when I walked back up the stairs to come back into the house. I felt very bouncy, as if I were going to keep floating up. I also felt it when I stood up from a chair. Around this time I also started to notice things bouncing around a bit when I tried to fix my eyes on them. 1220 I'm definitely getting weird. Kurt still I isn't getting anything. 1226 turned off the lights and the monitor, stopped writing this log as things happened. Listened to music in the dark and had a pretty good time singing along. Now I popped in Nirvana's Nevermind. It was more melodic and cooler to listen to. I thought the more psychedelic parts of the music would be more stimulating, but it was really basic song structure and melody that got me going. Time started to get distorted. Couldn't keep my eyes from wandering. One o'clock, or so, John. Time getting really distorted. Songs seemed to last for hours, still nothing really for Kurt. We just lied around and listened. Things really hit around 1.30. All I can say is that I was fucked asterisk up asterisk. My memory from then on is really screwed up, but I remember realizing just how fried I was when I found myself sitting up on the bed with my legs shaking, and asking Kurt if they were shaking. He told me to stop shaking them, by now he seemed pretty fried too. And when I stopped, it was fairly hard, I couldn't quite remember. How, too. It felt weird stopping, so I just let them shake, they stopped when I laid back down. Standing up was hard and so was talking, although that didn't stop me. Just laying down, talking and listening was actually quite enjoyable. Things I noticed. These things are dangerous. I almost choked trying to swallow one of the pill's smiley face. Really though, make sure you have something to wash them down with, we were very heavily stoned. I remember Kurt remarking, this is what retarded people must feel like, smiley face. I just couldn't think straight at all. I seemed to instantly verbalize most of my thoughts. According to Kurt, I talked almost the whole time about absolutely nothing. I wonder if I would have talked so much if there weren't anyone there with me. I found myself contradicting myself often. I want to try and go outside. No I don't. I also said completely senseless things he would ask me a question like, do you want to try and stand up? And I'd say something like, no, because you'll try to kill me, and the windows can't handle that. Weird. Part of our talking was telling each other all of our deepest darkest secrets. I can only remember a few of the milder ones, but I know I told him things about myself I wouldn't tell anyone normally. Luckily our memories of the experience are very bad, and many of the things we told each other were absolute hogwash, I distinctly remember. Hey man, I gotta tell you something. I have sex with furniture, that's okay man, I have sex with guitars. The next day however, we both felt like a tremendous weight had been taken off of our chest, and I think we're much better friends. I didn't seem to hallucinate as I thought I would. In fact, I really couldn't imagine anything visual at all. When I closed my eyes, I just saw kind of a slightly more intense normal closed eye pattern, and I just felt a general, swirling, feeling in my mind. Kurt, however, reported seeing Sonic the Hedgehog come running at him a few times. Smiley face. I noticed my body seemed generally numbed, and severely in my mouth and face. The numbing of my mouth added to the difficulty of talking, and I think I had cotton mouth, but it might have just been the numbness. At one point, for some reason I told Kurt to make sure all of his fingers were still on because DXM can be bad for them. He started nervously tugging on them to see if they were loose. I really freaked him out smiley face. Moving around and dancing was really cool. 
I was very disoriented and had a bit of a hard time standing up, but I didn't get motion sick or anything, and moving felt great. Looking back, I'm glad nobody sober was watching me dance, I pretty much made a fool of myself smiley face. For part of the most intense part of the trip I seemed to be just, out of my head. Like the rest of my mind just wandered off and left me to just kinda lay there and stare at things. I also had a few, waking up, experiences. It's hard to explain, but it was if I were dreaming, and then woke up to find things exactly as they were in the dream. Ms. only got nauseous twice for short periods, and it was very mild. Sometime around 4 o'clock, both of us decided to go so sleep, I wasn't really tired, it was a decision we just kinda made, no weird dreams or anything. The next day, I didn't feel down after the trip, probably because I was still feeling the effects quite a bit. My memory wasn't doing too good, I felt mildly stoned, and I still got that funny feeling whenever I got up. For the record, I'm only around 130 pounds, and Kurt is. A. I don't know, but he's 6 feet 2 and slightly overweight. Overall, this was quite an enjoyable, and weird, experience, and I plan on doing this again this weekend with maybe a few other friends, a higher dose, and some more appropriate music, although as the trip really got intense, I really just ignored the music. At around 10 bucks for 20 capsules, 30 milligrams each, it's fairly cheap, it would have been cheaper if I had been willing to down all that nasty syrup, and from what I've seen so far, it seems to be legal. Well, my fingers are tired, and so am I, so I guess I'll stop now smiley face. It should have only dextromethorphan hydrobromide, and maybe a little alcohol, as an active ingredient. Just make sure you don't have anything too important to do the day afterwards, you'll still feel it the next day, and might not sleep very well.